Hello learners, welcome to NIOS studio. Myself, Dr. Triranjata Srivastha, I will be teaching structure of atom. In part 1, we will discuss Rutherford scattering experiment. In this lecture, you will be able to understand Thomson model, Rutherford scattering experiment and its finding, Rutherford's atomic model and its shortcomings. Have you ever thought why different materials possess different properties? Why chalk gets broken so easily? On the other hand, why metal gets flattened on high impact which results into this thin aluminium foil? Answer to all these questions is that atoms are basic building blocks of all form of matter. Do you know? When does the idea of atom came into existence? You will be surprised to know that the concept of atom is as old as human civilization. In ancient time, Democritus in Greece and Maharshi Kanad in India tried to explain the changes around us in terms of tiny particles. However, the exact theory of atom was presented by John Dalton in 1808. He proposed that atom is smallest indivisible particles which possess all the properties of the atom and it takes part in all chemical reaction. Further, in 1897, by the discovery of electron, which was done by J.J. Thomson, it provided the first insight of structure of atom. Further, in 1904, he proposed that atom is a tiny, uniformly charged positive ball in which negatively charged electrons are uniformly embedded. So, this entire matter is positively charged and the electrons which are negatively charged are embedded into it exactly like a plum pudding. This model proposed by Thomson was successful because it provided a evidence that the atom is neutral. It possessed equal amount of positive as well as negative charges. For experimental confirmation of Thomson model, in 1911, Hans Giger and Ernest Martson, the students of Ernest Rutherford, performed alpha particle scattering experiment. In this experiment, they took radioactive substance that is radium. Now, question is why they took radioactive substance? Because this substance emit alpha particle. Now, what is alpha particle? Alpha particle is a helium atom which has lost both its electrons. So, it has positive charge which is twice of that of electron. Now, this alpha particle beam is incident on a gold foil which is represented by T in this picture. And the scattered alpha particles are captured on the screen which is made up of zinc sulphide. The property of zinc sulphide is that it is a fluorescent material and it gives off visual flash when the alpha particle is incident on it. Further, a detector is placed on the screen which is rotated throughout to capture the data. In this experiment, it was observed that most of the alpha particle suffered only small deflection. Some of the alpha particles were deflected at large angles greater than or equal to 90 degree. However, only few that is 1 out of 8000 deflected at 180 degree. Now, if we plot this data, it appears like this that on the x axis we have the angle of deflection and on the y axis there are number of alpha particles scattered. In this figure, we can see that at low angles 
that is nearly approx 5 degree the number of alpha particles scattered is very large however at 90 degree there are very few and when we go to 180 degree there are very less number of alpha particles if we assume that thomson model is correct then the alpha particles should experience weak force due to uniformly embedded electrons hence it should pass through the foil deviated by 1 degree or less but this was not the situation which was observed in rutherford scattering experiment so here the thomson model fails by taking into account these findings of the scattering experiment rutherford presented a atomic model he proposed that the entire positive charge and nearly all the mass is confined in a very small region that has a diameter of 10 to the power minus 15 meter and this central region was termed as nucleus also the atom was largely empty space and the electrons revolved at a large distance from the nucleus such that the atom as a whole is electrically neutral and stable so if we draw the picture of the atom it possess a positive nuclei and the electrons were revolving around it in a random fashion now let us explain the findings of rutherford experiment by the rutherford's atomic model if we look into the path traversed by alpha particles so in this picture one at the upper side and at the lower side is showing no deflection the path represented by one is showing no deflection because it is far from the nucleus however two the path which are shown by number 2 in this show slight deflection that is because now the distance from the nucleus has increased and hence it suffers slight coulomb repulsion now why coulomb repulsion because the nucleus is positively charged and the alpha particle is also positive charge so both these positive charge suffer from the coulomb repulsion this we have already studied now in this picture the path represented by 3 are showing high deflection that is greater than 90 degree because now the distance between the path of the alpha particle and that of the nucleus is very less and the fourth path which is represented by the two arrows in the opposite directions on the same line is representing a head on collision so when the alpha particle is incident in path 4 it is suffered from strong coulomb repulsion and it is deflected in the same direction hence the rutherford model very well explain the findings of rutherford scattering experiment but there were few experimental facts which were not explained by the rutherford atomic model it is given by the contradiction or shortcomings in rutherford atomic model the first one is the stability of atom according to classical wave theory an accelerated charged particle emits electromagnetic radiation hence revolving electron should lose energy and eventually spiral into the nucleus but this is not the situation because it never happens that the electron and nucleus collapse and we get nothing at the end however the atom possess a stability the another fact which was not explained is the line spectra which means that there is a definite energy which is emitted in the form of electromagnetic radiation 
when the electrons make transition. Now, if we talk about the Rutherford atomic model, so the revolving electron should emit electromagnetic radiations of all frequencies giving rise to continuous spectrum. So how will we explain line spectrum? So Rutherford scattering experiment and the atomic model is a very good contribution in structure of atom because it gave the discovery of nucleus. Though it does not explain to fact but still it was a successful theory. So what we have learned in this lecture? We have studied Thomson atomic model, Rutherford's scattering experiment and its findings and Rutherford's atomic model and its shortcomings. Thank you.